um, chance and natural selection and intelligent design. One of the biggest fallacies in popular understanding of Darwinian evolution by natural selection is that it is a theory of random chance. It is not. It's the, it's the very opposite, and this is one of the most important things to understand about it. Um, uh, there is a, a certain chance element in it. The mutation is a, is a process of random chance. It's random with respect to improvement. Things don't tend to get better as a result of mutation. The important step in the Darwinian theory of evolution is natural selection. Natural selection is a non-random process. Natural selection is the non-random survival of randomly varying genetic codes. And the reason why some genetic codes survive better than others is their phenotypic effects via the processes of embryogenesis on phenotypes, on bodies, uh, which make them survive or not survive, reproduce or not survive. And the ones that do survive and reproduce pass on the genetic coded instructions that built them and equipped them and made them good at surviving and reproducing. That's the idea. Um, that is the explanation for the apparent adaptive design, the, 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 the illusion of design which all living things show. It is a non-random process. It does not involve design of any sort. Um, it produces an illusion of design. It is hard for people to grasp for various reasons, and one reason the questioner has pinpointed is the sheer length of time involved. Geological time is larger than most human minds are capable of grasping. Um, one of the various metaphors have been used to um, convey the sheer magnitude of geological time. One that I like, which I didn't invent, is you hold out your hand to represent the um, the, the length of geological time, and if, say, the middle of my tie is the origin of life and the tip of my finger is the present, then the dinosaurs, which went extinct 65 million years ago, um, lived about there. Most of this is bacteria. You have, um, you have um, multicellular life evolving about here, dinosaurs about there, humans at my fingernail, and the whole of recorded human history Everything from the Egyptians, biblical times, the Romans, the Assyrians, the Greeks, all of human history disappears in the dust from one stroke of a nail file. That's the, the scale of human history, is, is the dust from one stroke of a nail file on the same scale as the time that's available, that has been available for evolution. That is one of the reasons why people find it so hard to understand. There are many reasons. I've written about eight books on the subject um, which um, preceded The God Delusion, and it, it's a little hard to condense it into a few minutes. Uh, thank you very much.